Hi there. Have you ever missed the old days of Windows XP? Well, now you can for absolutely free get your Windows 11 to look exactly like Windows XP back in the good old days. Um, in this video, I have included a lot of links to different um, icons, wallpapers and sounds and so on for your um, so that you can transform your Windows 11 to be just as um, uh, looking exactly like mine. Um, as you can see here, I have a start menu customized. I have a taskbar. Here I have a Windows Chrome theme that makes this um, bar blue. I also have a desktop theme that makes um, this um, file explorer look more like Windows XP. There's a task manager that you can use instead of the Windows 11 task manager. Um, this looks pretty much like the one that was in Windows XP. Um, but yeah, let's check out the list here. First, we have the wallpaper that you see here in the background. I believe it's a 4K um, optimized version. There's, um, yeah, the task manager and the task bar, as you see here. You just download it and open it up. Um, and select Windows XP Blue. Automatically start at logon. And lock the taskbar, allow font smoothing, show the clock, show the input language. And I have scaled my taskbar to 125. Next, there is a lock screen that you can download, which gives you the blue um, login of Windows XP which is right here. So just download the pack and use the uh, image that has the correct resolution for your display, or at least the correct aspect ratio. And the, for the start menu, you download OpenShell. which is found right here. OpenShell can be downloaded here. You install that and afterwards you select the skin Luna. Oh, um, where was it? Here. And Open shell menu settings. Um, yeah, start menu style and then you choose classic with two columns. And you click advanced button options. No, you don't. You select skin. Uh, where was it? I think we have a little visual error here. Um, okay, you go to open shell settings, menu look, and in order to get the start menu to be placed exactly above the taskbar, we have to set a vertical offset. Mine is set at 16, 
Uh, this fits perfectly when my resolution is um, set to the one I use uh, daily. Right now, it I have changed it for this video, but but for um, for my resolution, sixteen pixels is perfect. Yours might be different, so play play around with it. Um, next up, we have a an XP user image which um, is the one you see up here and when you log in on your computer. So you just download this one and you go to settings. That's uh, right here. Accounts, your info, and choose a file and then you change it. Next up, we have the Chrome theme. Oh, this is very simple. You just insert the link in your browser and you apply this theme so that you get the blue look on your Chrome browser. You can also, if you have Firefox, you can search for like Windows or Windows XP or blue theme or something like that. Then we have the sounds of the system. I have changed mine to the Windows XP sounds. In order to change the startup sound that comes right after you log in to the machine, you have to use a startup sound changer, which will be downloaded here. After that, you open it up, startup sound, uh changer i think it is in my downloads folder start up sound changer there and you just press replace you find the startup sound from the sound pack that i have shared right here so you download that first and then you press play to check if it is working. And now you have successfully changed the sound. In order to change all the other sounds, you have to manually change them one by one. So if you want to do that, you go to sound uh, settings and sound. No, settings, personalization, themes, and sounds. And here you have all the different sounds. And you just hear them first. And then you can find the sounds that you have downloaded and pick them one by one until you are done here. After that, you save it and give it a new name. And that's pretty much it. So now that we have the sounds, you want to get the XP theme. Um, in order to, um, the theme will give you the uh, blue file explorer look, as you see here. Um, and where was I? Here, you first install the UX theme patcher that is found here. And you just click download for Windows 11. After that, you get the specific Windows XP theme via this link and it will start downloading right up. You unzip it and you copy the contents to see Windows resources themes. And then you either go to open settings, personalization, themes, And you browse, you browse for the theme that you have um, installed, and you just no, you don't. Sorry, this is 
this is for a Microsoft Store. No, what I had to do instead was to not find the theme here to apply it. I just go to the folder where we have just pasted it, uh, the theme and I double click the theme itself and it will be applied to the machine. And one of the last things here, we have the XP icons. You just download an XP icon package, which is found right here, also in the description of this video. And we just press download and we get all of these icons to the computer. After that, there are two uh, different um, places we can apply these icons. The first place is the start menu. As you can see, I have edited my Google Chrome uh, icon to a an XP internet icon. And here we have um, the control panel. I have also changed that. And I think that was about it for this um, for the start menu. And secondly, to change even more icons, uh, the icons that you have on the desktop, you can go to settings, personalization, themes, desktop icon settings, and here you can change um, these five icons, PC, um, user folder, network, and recycle bin. And you change them one by one from the icon pack you have downloaded. All right, and I also have some extra information. If you want to make the Windows feel a bit snappier uh, and more XP-like, I think, you can go to uh, settings, system and where was it advanced where do we have advanced oh you go to control panel and you go to system here yes about and advanced system settings performance settings and you choose all of these um, settings exactly like you see on my screen here. And that way, when you close Windows and open Windows, um, it will just happen instantly without uh, the animations. So, um, yeah, so, but again, that's up to you. Um, I like it this way. And um, yeah, when you have successfully completed all of these steps, you should be ending up with exactly the same result as mine. I have also added a bonus uh, wallpaper package um, for more XP wallpapers. As you can see right here with a download link. Other than that, I will just thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you succeed installing all of these um, different things on your system and hopefully you have a wonderful experience getting your Windows 11 to look like the good old Windows XP. Yeah, so thank you for watching and hopefully I will see you in another video. Bye.